Intertubercular sulcus Intertubercular sulcus A deep groove on the humerus that separates the greater tubercle from the lesser tubercle. It is usually around 8 cm long and 1 cm wide in adults. Structures therein. Long tendon of the biceps brachii, an ascending branch of the anterior. Circumflex humeral artery to the glenohumeral joint, shoulder joint. Neighboring structures, lateral lip, tendon of the pectoralis major, medial lip, tendon of the teres major, floor, insertion of the latissimus dorsi. Proximal end of the humerus, head, a hemispheroidal shape, with hyaline cartilage covering its smooth articular surface. It faces in a medial, superior and posterior direction where it articulates with the glenoid fossa of the scapula. Anatomical neck, a slight narrowing below the articular surface of the head. Here, the joint capsule of the shoulder joint is attached. Greater tubercle, the most lateral portion of the proximal end of the humerus. From superior to inferior, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor attach. The deltoid covers the lateral aspect of it, resulting in the normal rounded shape of the shoulder. Lesser tubercle, located anterior to the anatomical neck. The subscapularis attaches here and the transverse humeral ligament also attaches on its lateral part. Intertubercular sulcus, bicipital groove, an indentation located between the greater and lesser tubercles. The long tendon of the biceps brachii and an ascending branch of the anterior circumflex humeral artery are located within it. The pectoralis major tendon attaches on to the lateral lip crest of greater tubercle, the teres major tendon attaches onto the medial lip, and the latissimus dorsi tendon attaches to the posterior aspect. Surgical neck. A. Place where the proximal end of the humerus joins with the long shaft. It is in close proximity to the axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral artery. It is a common fracture site. 